So then he goes on to Babson as an assistant. And he's a young guy who works his way up. Babson goes to the NCAA in his first year as an assistant and leads NCAA New England in defense, team defense. I was like, wow, he, he's a really special, special guy. Then he goes on to WBI and he takes WBI. He took the team over that was two wins and 24 losses. 24. I believe last year they were 24 and 2. They've been to the NCAA, and I, I, I'm not sure of this. I think three out of the last five years or three out of the last four years, he's an amazing guy. And I sit with him a lot and we talk about defense. I went up to Worcester to see him uh, a couple of weeks ago. He's just a very, very bright guy. So what he taught me, the first thing he taught me, and I, I put it into my Summer High School basketball program, my last five years in Summer High, we led the GBL with team defense. We gave up 51.9 points per game. Now we're a running team, so we average about 65 possessions a game. And what I try to do is have the defense, the team we're playing, score, ready? 0.85 points per possession. My goal is to score 1.1 points per possession. And if we figure it out, between 60 and 65 points, the final score is going to be 66 52. I can't tell you how many times someone will hide. Our scores were 67, 51, 66, 53. It's unbelievable. But the whole thing starts with what I'm going to show you, and I call it, and I've modified it to fit my high school program. And my high school team is mostly Haitian, El Salvadorian, Guatemalan, Brazilian. So I had kids coming over who didn't play basketball. We got them late or something. And it took a while to teach them. So I sold them to students. Alright? So what I'm, I'm going to show you how I do it. And then I'll try to explain it to you. And I have the defense. The defense is the chosen three point line. Here I'm going to go defense is on the uh, chosen three point line. Offense and triple threat stand is not. The first thing I do, and I sell this, guys. I sell it. You need to instill a mentality on your team that the defensive stance is important. Because everywhere you go in 6th, 7th, 8th grade basketball, every kid wants to score. Every kid, that kid is in the seventh grade and is scoring 16 points a game, thinks he's the man. He's the stud. He's the stud. But they're not. There's no guarantee that they're going to be the best player when they get to high school. It, it's almost, I, I sold my son. I sold my son Craig. Real quick. He tries out for an AU basketball team. Fidelity House. Sixth grade. He gets cut. He gets cut. Coach comes up to me. I'm, I'm just a local coach. Coach, I'm sorry. On the way home, he's a little misty in the car saying, I oh, I said, yeah, I get chipped. I said, no, you didn't. You were coming to Vegas. You didn't get off the coast. Fifth and sixth grade. You love basketball, but not for me. The next two years later, we worked with him. I spoke my time in working with him. And I only have a rule. I work with you when you ask. Right? You don't ask, we don't go. We don't work out. That's my rule. Three years later, we played the same team. We beat them. He scored 25 points. And that's just goes to show you, I, I make that point, if you work with your kids, teach them the fundamentals, they will get better. But it's not just offense, it's defensive skills. And I'm going to show you a little package right now. I do it every single day. First day of practice, last day of practice. Every single day. Tryout, state tournament, every single day. Reinforce the fundamentals that I want to teach. So they know it's important. When you start doing it, it becomes less important. That's what you guys have to remember. Some 